evening. This is the May 2nd Litchfield Conservation Commission meeting at 7 p.m. on May 2nd. Uh, first, there is no public, so I don't think there's any public input related to non-agenda items, unless anybody has any non-agenda items they want to add. Mm -hmm. And I'll appoint Andrew to vote in place of some absent people. So present is Roger St. Laurent, Joan McKibben, Tom Levesque, Andrew Thompson, and Harry Menzikian. Absent is Marion Godzik, alternate, Michael Croto, Stephen Weber Slackman, Matthew Lapore, and John Curtin. All righty, first item is River Access Rename Proposal. The Recreation Commission is proposing a new river access be renamed John Bryant River Access. I had kind of thought that Litchfield, uh, Litchfield River Access at John Bryant Park, but what's everybody's feeling? It's not really a park. I was going to say, I went to Lisa, and uh, it's not it's a park. It's not really not a park, yeah. It will be, it will be eventually, yeah. but it's not now. Why yeah. do they want to change it? Because he worked on it quite a bit. He was chairman of the Recreation, Recreation Commission, and he passed away last fall. Uh huh. And that's why they wanted to rename it. I have no objection to changing the name. That's a good point that it isn't a park. It's no, really short. I wouldn't use that. Mm -hmm. or, or maybe I thought Litchfield River Landing. Well, yeah. I think it's called Litchfield, Litchfield River Landing now. It has a name now? Yeah, there's a big sign up there. Yeah. They want to rename it John Bryant River Access. Any opposition? None. No. None? Okay, I will get in touch with them. Would you like a motion? Or? Um, no, they just wanted input from us. Okay. Uh, so I'll email them our consensus. Uh, trail grants. Jason Brennan sent us a New Hampshire Trails Bureau grants open now. Um, <clears throat> the grants are due, applications are due June 21st, and you have to go to, if you want to apply, you have to go to the mandatory May 13th workshop, grant workshop in Concord. Um, huh? Say it again. It's, it's it's a grant from the uh, New Hampshire State Parks. Right. Here's what here's what um Jason wrote. In a twisted series of events, I was jogging along a riverfront trail in Bedford with a woman who is on the Bedford Conservation Commission. She told me that they got a forty thousand dollar grant to help build the trails that we were running on, and an additional dollars in other parts of town. London Dairy get. Londonderry got 100000 in the past. She then told me the guy who wrote the grants works for my company and sits right next to me. While you probably know about this, which I didn't, he gave me some info and let me know what, that the grants were open now. Um, it's from the New Hampshire Trails Bureau. The due date is June 21st. There's a grant workshop on May 13th in Concord and another one May 20th up north. Um, based on... And Jason said, based on recent discussions, maybe we can put a grant together to either make a more viable entrance to stage crossing or make a riverfront trail on the town lots in front of the old town hall library. Well, we even have um, the park at Parker Park that's in need. That would be perfect if we get action. Get action to the so library. I did, oh, I did go online and look it up and... Um, that's how I realized that you had to go to the grant workshop. Oh, okay. That's the part I didn't quite catch. Yeah, to the grant. So that, so you can put in a feasible application. Is this like a lottery where you put your name in and then they draw from? I don't know how they draw from. I don't. I don't know if it's. Or is a lottery. everybody guaranteed? No, you're not. Money. I'm sure you're not guaranteed. <laughs> it's probably based on how, how good your application yep. looks. Oh, uh, okay. And do we have to write that up them ourselves, or is there like a form that we just fill out? There's, there's, prob there's. I'm sure that's criteria. I don't know if it's a form or if it's um, we write it up ourselves. So, do you want me to go to this? I think it'd be good if it's available during the day. What day is May thirteenth? May thirteenth is a Tuesday. 
I think. Um, no, it's a Monday, I think. Yeah, Monday's because the fifteenth is a Wednesday, fourteenth is a Tuesday. If you go backwards, it works that way, Harry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> May thirteenth is a Monday. Monday. Okay. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> so either Roger or I, because we're the only ones around during the day. Who wants to go? Yeah, Monday I'm tied up. Monday. All right. I'll try and get Monday. I work, but um. What time? What time are you gonna go? It's um, from 1 to 3 p.m. Oh, that might work. 1 to 3, huh? Well, let me know because I like. That would be kind of worth it. it. You know, if there's something potential. Oh, both of us should go. You know, yeah. free money. Mm. Yeah. It's going to go somewhere. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's that. Roger and I will work on that from May 13th. Um, okay. uh, Matt had. Emailed and wanted to know somebody wanted to know how to get into the Cutler Road property. So I made a tax map copy. He's not here tonight, but um, to show him how to get into the Cutler Road property. And there aren't any trails. We more or less bought that for um, habitat protection. Mm -hmm. I want to pass it down to Andrew. He wouldn't know where. Right, and and um, Harry. I thought we were going to pass it down. I was looking at it on the way down. <laughs> So we, we yeah. own all the colored parcels, and mm -hmm. um, that was the one with the vernal pools in the back right. of the guy I wanted to put a house. Mm -hmm. We own all that that's colored in? Yep. It's four yeah. acres on Cutler Road, and that, and that little piece on the curve. Yeah, you go around that shop curve. Yep. It's, it's right there, right behind you. It's pretty wet property in there. Yeah, right? it's very wet. It's Especially this time of the year, it's probably all full water. water. Yeah, everything's <laughs> underwater right now. Mm -hmm. So that one, uh, and then there aren't any trails there. It's just um. Yeah. It's, it's he was just wondering for access to just somebody check it out, or I guess he, somebody asked him about access. Oh yeah. It, we mean, do have. We should get in there and clear this access next to Mr. Jibo a little bit better. Yeah, right. That's what was there to. some somewhat of a trail where the guy had his trailer parked there? That a little bit. Jibo's yeah. A little yeah. bit off mm -hmm. of Cutler Road. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's that one. Huh. It's um really nice vernal pools back in there. There's a huge one back along the yeah, yeah. northern property mm -hmm. line. I'm yeah. sure it's pretty big right now. Yeah. Because <laughs> because that um that's Kent is that Candle Ridge? Yeah, they, they were kind of just built on a peninsula of dry land. Right, yeah, exactly. Much surrounded by wet. Mm -hmm. Any questions on that? No. Nope. Is there um we have no interest in putting trails because it's so wet, well, right? And no. it's small. It's yeah. it's um four acres, and it, like yeah. I said, it's mostly it's, bought for habitat protection. Yeah. Okay. It's all broken up too. I mean, there isn't you know there's some. Well, here. this over here is town-owned property that we didn't buy over this way off of um, North on Cutler. Mm -hmm. Wasn't one of the property owners kind of nervous about us being back down back there or something or other? It seems to me when we walk back there, they there was something I can't remember either. You're right. Yeah. Mm. Well. But that's okay. Because they probably were yeah, dumping their stuff out yeah, there. Exactly. Um, what was I gonna say? But we should go go out there once in a while and make our present. We should put one of our maintained by conservation yeah, commission right. signs mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sign color. <clears throat> Merrimack River. It's still there. Um, yeah, it's real high too. Mm -hmm. it sure is. It's be a right of way or something. Which, Which one? one? Well, you go around like the sharp corner of uh, Cutler Road. That was. Yeah. That's a separate parcel that we yeah. did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the same guy mm -hmm. owned it, and that's how we ended up with both. Yeah, with both yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just laughing at that. There's we a line drawn line between, between. The, like <laughs> a bridge in between there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> To a sky bridge. <laughs> they shot out from both sides yeah. crossing their property. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it's scattered all over the place. Yeah. So um, what we got? What the Merrimack we River. Um, I think I forwarded you what Jason Brennan had said about um <clears throat> they Manchester, how did that go? Manchester um oh, Paul's. combined sewer overflows. They do test, and they were only like two two times that they um, were over 
the limit of, I have to go get a tissue or something. Um, <clears throat> a couple times that they were over the allowable limit of bacteria. That was it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> If you test it at home in the sink, it should work pretty good. Mm. Mm. Well, I, I mean, it, does that surprise anybody? Yeah, that's only during like major rain events, though. No, actually, it isn't. They have major outflows all the time that they've never connected into the, no, into the plant. I thought that they were going to take the run, the wastewater, and it was supposed to go to. It doesn't. It does. Electric plant? Yeah, to the power plant over London Dairy. The A A N E plant or whatever, whatever the, the new the uh, the new one. The coal, the coal, the coal, yeah, the the, the gas fired plant they right. built twenty the, years ago. Okay. So So some some discharge goes there. Yeah. And then and to run the plant to make steam. And then it goes back to the river. Oh, then it does come back. Oh, yeah, it's gonna go back somewhere. Are you talking about the AES plant? Yeah, yeah right. <clears throat> wow, what but a heck of a pipe system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would just be warm water coming back in, right? Yeah, right. But <laughs> there's an article in the union leader this week, which I didn't cut out, but they and I meant to, I think of, I don't think I'll get it to the dump yet, but they're talking about the number of outflows that they actually have in Manchester that have never there's, been hooked to the sewage treatment plant. There's 15 in Manchester that are <clears throat> that combined to overflows, and there's, Manchester is the biggest polluter. Right, and they, and they, they, they <laughs> outflow into the river every day because uh, they, there's no place they don't get to the plant. Gotcha. They, they've never been connected. But the thing was... But that would be stormwater. No, it's both. They're connected. <clears throat> now, I read a, the article in the paper that Dolly claimed it was storm. Yeah, that's what the paper said. Storm, yeah. Yeah, storm water. Storm water. Storm yeah. water, not just every now, there's, day. There's parts they of, have parts a problem not, when, it, when, it's, when it rains heavily and, over, and it, um, overwhelms, and it can't the handle overwhelms the plant. Yeah. yeah, all plants can discharge when, it, when it's a over, major overflow. Right. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I didn't have the gentleman come in from um, Lower Merrimack because he said he's going to be doing a couple presentations in Nashua. So maybe he'll let me know when those are and we can get to those. <clears throat> yeah, I, I know uh, Penichuk Water, they sample that the, the intake of their river every month. At, 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 down, at, um, down at the intake uh, at mm -hmm. Penichuk. Right. And that's public record. That should be <clears throat> somewhere. We're going, we're going on their website. And they, you should be able to get that. Now, is the Merrimack still classified as an A? Class B. No, it never was A. B. It was always a class B. Oh, it was never a class. Okay. Suitable for <laughs> recreation and swimming. Okay. Not and not. and this somebody that takes uh, several samples uh, a month for uh, either the Sahegan and, and, and all of those. <clears throat> well, we used to do that in the Merrimack. Kevin and I used to do it years ago. And then, That's right. Um, I don't know if they're still doing the Sohegan. Um, the Merrimack River Watershed Council yeah. is the one who's going to do the seminars, not the seminars, but the talks. And um, that's what Jason said. If we, if we wanted to do a collection or somebody wanted to do a water collection, they could take it up to the Manchester treatment plant and they test it. But that's kind mm -hmm. of... <laughs> fox, the yeah. fox testing yeah, the fox. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. But I mean, they, they have a they have a, a whole lab, and I mean, they're they're subject to federal laws, and not they're not going to skew okay. a test for Has that. Has something changed with the amount of? No, this Heavy has rain. always been happening. It's just, it's just somebody saw it and blew well, the whistle. Well, the city's growing. And, and, the and we're getting these heavy and, storms. And, and the city's growing, and they're adding more. You know, my, my interpretation is there's many more new homes and buildings being added to these outflows that do not go to the sewage treatment plant. Okay. So there's a larger, my interpretation, a larger influx of flutes of waste going into well, the wait river. Wait, the wow. new homes would have to would have to be tied no, in. Yes. No, they're not. No, new how can, homes can't just dump how can into they the river. Be? No, how can they be when they, when they put a new subdivision? I remember when I was on the planning board. It's got to be 25 years ago. We we basically by letter fought with the, the additional new subdivision of I'm going to say 25 houses. I don't know what it was. It was at the northwest corner of Manchester, and we objected to it strongly about it because that was going to go into one of the discharges that's never been hooked up to the sewage treatment plant. To the best of my knowledge, you mean it never has. Water. No, no. Water sewage. No, no, no I, I, no, I can't believe no, that no, at all. Oh yes, no. oh yes, still going on. You have the on. Clean Water Act. You, can, you, you can't think anyone dumb. pays attention to that? I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, used to. Yeah, if they used to. That's Before the key word. I think the biggest problem we have are how many? How many times have you? I recorded three inches of rain one day, two point seven inches another day, one point two inches another day. I mean, these that's, these that's are why. major rain events. I mean, <laughs> I, I I can see where you know they they could run into problems very easy. 
with that guy. Yeah, you know, there's no excuse for it, but yeah. I, 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 you know. But then the flow from you know up north because of the melting snow does well, that, that doesn't the oh, that, yeah, that, that wouldn't fine. influence the, the Manchester uh, Surrey Street. Okay, we're just talking about yeah, the Manchester, Manchester Zone, basically. Yeah. You have to physically have the rain fall in that particular area to overwhelm their treatment plant, and mm -hmm. those okay. fifteen catch basins or whatever are well. There are total outflows into the river yeah. from whole subdivisions, whole sections of town. I have a tough time. I mean, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, I I have see, a, the article was in the paper this past week. I got to see if I can find it. They're discussing. Well, they're describing. Maybe we better. Maybe we should have the guy from um, Merrimack Water said mm -hmm. council in, in June. If he has yeah, a, because <clears throat> I, I, I talking, would think the feds would get down on them oh, really yeah. fast. Yeah, I, I would think at this day and age that for them to even let's like something like that go would. Well, you can see the overflow thing during a major rainstorm. Oh, they have no choice. So, that's, so, that's, so that's everywhere. Ten years ago or more ago, they, they started fixing up the, the um, treatment plant where they trying to collect these stormwater overflows. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it's very expensive, so that there's still it's still an ongoing project. <clears throat> but there's our, I know there are 15 combined sewer overflows in Manchester, and Manchester is the biggest polluter. But mm -hmm. I don't believe that new subdivisions are dumping raw sewage in. Well, I'm talking back at that time, <clears throat> the raw, the new subdivisions are being added to existing outflows that were going directly into the river. Stormwater, well, yes. No, not stormwater, sewage. No, just sewage is not going directly into the river. May, maybe 30 well, years ago, but I, I can't believe that today. No. Yeah. But Manchester's the biggest is the biggest one. Hooks it and well, look at it, the size of Manchester. Must got to be number two. <clears throat> uh, I don't mean that as a well. Let me figure. Oh, you mean north of us, though? Yeah, yeah. We don't care about Nashville. <laughs> well, Nashville, Nashville's hooked in pretty well, to the best of my knowledge. I have several people who work there. People who work at the Merrimack facility, and they run a clean operation over well, there. Well, all those huge apartments on the, on the edge of the Merrimack. They put a million million gallon tank in that in that parking lot over there. Four combined. Four you realize how fast that fills up on a rainy oh, day? Yeah. Oh, I can, I can imagine, yeah. The day that kid drowned up on Main Street a couple of years ago, he came down through, went into that tank, and ejected out of that tank straight into the river. Really? If he hadn't been, he would have gone through the sewer treatment plant and been shredded. Wow. Oh, the one that fell in the... By Main Street, by the Main Street Bridge. Anyway, that's another story. For well, me. we need to. We'd anyway, yes. And the, well, the whole brought this up is because now we have river access, and it, you know, it, bare minimum. I talked to Rachel Salas about this, and he said, you know, it would be a good idea is to put up a sign signage that when they have a heavy flow, and they can let us know that we put up signage that you're you're at your own risk. And we and we should we being somebody in the <laughs> actually we have two river accesses. No, we don't. We have yeah. one. Yeah, we the do. Second one. Where's the second one? Moore's Falls. <clears throat> That's not a river act. I mean, you could, if you want to carry your canoe down there, yeah, you could. Get well, you in, could swim there. There's a beach there. Well, when we get on to the next one, I'll tell you why I think we have a second river access. Go okay. ahead. Okay. All right. So I will again contact um, Merrimack River Watershed Council and see. Yeah, I think I we out. need some more information. And before we and before we open. The river access. I think there needs to be some water testing done. Just well, to make the recreation sure. commission's in charge of doing that, and um, I'll speak to them about where the river quality. is. It'll probably be July. I, I, I believe the the thing for swimming is anything over eighty eight cultures per whatever. Coliform. Yeah, coliform is <clears throat> is considered anything under is considered safe. Yeah. If I remember right. Yeah, I think that's what he had. Jason had in his um, email. Okay. Do you want to go on to, on to Morse Falls? Sure. <clears throat> yes. I didn't order the signs yet. I've still been, I've been looking at them and I, <clears throat> I might just order right away to get them fast. The two that just push in the ground and then, and then I order some metal ones as well. I did call um, Marshall and mm -hmm. I didn't get any, I didn't call, I emailed. I didn't get any response. I'll have to call them. Yeah, you know, we'll call you better off just to go there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to – I have been bron procrastinating, and I will get some locks, mm -hmm. in, and I will change the locks on Moore's Falls and the rest of them, mm -hmm. and I'll make sure that that happens. Instead of – I think that we need to put those signs inside of that kiosk too. Yeah. Okay. Because we need to put the, you know. I mean, no well, I could I could get a sign now and get it laminated, and put it inside there now. 
You, you found the key? No, I could just post it. Okay. No, oh, <laughs> okay. So the reason I brought up about <clears throat> the second river access. I just got that intro too. Yes. And if you look it up, <clears throat> guess what's as far as one of the fishing spots in here? Morse, Morse Falls. Falls. Hmm. So, yes, I agree with you, Joan. We don't have a direct, technically a direct contact with the river. Well, we don't have a advertised access. Right. <clears throat> no, but according to, yeah, I forget what, it's in there. That's a good publication if you don't get it. It's yeah. good. I couldn't read the timber rattlesnake though before well, I went to bed. <laughs> you know, I noticed that the problem with the dog waste and all the <clears throat> situations we've had with it. Now the fact that this thing's been published, and I was a little surprised that they even uh, <clears throat> labeled it. You know, even brought it up as a an area to go fishing. Um, a lot of people do fish down there. Because it's you know, rapids. Yeah. Next page, I think. So that means that that's going to be, whether it is going to be increased usage more than it is now. It's <laughs> Come hard on to down, tell. it says. <laughs> it's hard to tell. So. Um, we better get some signs of Just, just minutes out. from the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So but I missed that. I didn't. You know, it. So when I think people, unless they're coming in from uh, St. Francis, when most people see how far that is, unless you have wheels on a canoe or a kayak, yeah, I think I think it would be, I'd be mostly people going down with a fishing pole. They're, they're just walking down yeah. right. fishing. Yeah, yeah. And they, they're not. They're not saying about taking that. That got so far. Doesn't think about. Well, bringing I think the, boat, the last time. I mean, in your, you're right to, to haul a canoe down that far. Yeah. To go in there. Even from St. Francis, it's, it's a pretty good haul. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you do something silly like go over the falls. Where's that, where's that the spot where the uh, where the firemen usually not uh, launch not to there? Temple Drive somewhere. I mean, it's the spot Temple where they Drive take it down. Get in. They get in somewhere. They used to with the rubber boat when they had the rubber boats for rescue. Uh, they used to get in right, right at the end of Temple Drive, but that's not. I'm, well, Temple Drive, there's a, um, <clears throat> that pipe comes from Derry. Oh, right yeah, there. yeah. Does anyone ever check that affluent? No. Not that I know. Uh, maybe, maybe she talked to the, to to the head Gary. honcho of the town and have him start seeing about checking about that. We we should be we our should, town. Yeah. yeah, this guy that sits in the tower here. So anyway, like they I should, said, they should, they should be checking this. Somebody should be checking the discharge coming in from dairy. I mean, yeah. they're they're pumping millions of gallons of sewage, <laughs> processed sewage. Where? Right at the end of Temple Drive. Drive the pipe, pipe is eight feet across or six feet across. It flows I'm constantly. Down Corning Road from Dairy. It oh. looks like it looks like what it is. This is north of Darko Stables. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. You come right down Corning Road. Remember they dug up Corning Road a few years back, and they ran the pipe down. I think it's five foot or six foot pipe. Mm -hmm. It comes all the way through London Dairy from the dairy plant, well, it, and it's been there for years. It's been there when Hadco was there. Does it, does it go underneath yeah, the long. power lines? Yes, because Nancy Hendrick and I went to Hadco, and it's been there that long. So that's probably thirty years. And then that's a new one. Then when well, was I selecting? <clears throat> what what you're saying is there's a Pipe that's it that comes oh, from the yeah. sewage treatment plant in Derry that comes into Litchfield at the end of oh, Corning, at the end of Temple Drive. Through London, London Derry. At the end of Temple through Drive? Drive? Through London Derry. You know where London the horse farm the is? Corn, you know Corning Road. Yeah. And then it goes across, and, uh, across down Temple Drive, the last road on the left when you're heading north, Temple Drive. Yeah. It empties into the river. In this sewage treatment plant, isn't that up? It's over by when you cross over uh, 102, it's Behind with uh, that car yeah. sales yes, place, yeah. right, right in there. Yeah, yeah. Now yeah, I can see it. The trees are the trees are all gone. No, yeah, the reason yeah. I asked is the last time I was fishing over there, I mean, I didn't see any discharge. Oh, it's twenty four hours a day. It's a steady flow. I mean, it comes out of that plant over in Derry that runs twenty four hours a day. Is it, does that enter that stream that's over? It's right no, the river. It comes right to the river. So when well, Hadco years ago, it came from Hadco. But I don't know. So now it comes from the dairy treatment plant. Treatment plant, yeah. <clears throat> hmm. So that should plant. be that should be monitored by somebody, yeah. and we should be we should be getting documentation from somebody on a monthly yeah. basis. Yeah. We being the town of Litchfield. I mean, now that we have created a recreation area, we, we have to be more in tune to this. Yeah. So anyway, continuing on. You're right. You're right, Harry. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, Matt had given me uh, some little brochure on observing wildlife, and I went up to our friendly neighborhood uh, public service people, public, uh, not public service, fishing the game. Pop, yeah. fish and game people. And the closest thing is here. Why don't you just pass this on? I've got tons of them. This is the closest thing that they had to what Matt had talked about, okay? And it does say wildlife viewing in the North Woods, but if you look at the information, okay, uh, on particularly the blue part, it's it doesn't make any difference, you know, where you are, okay? And... Um, but it doesn't give you... A, <clears throat> we were more interested in how far you should... You know, give the animals room. You'd like to think common sense, but that's not too well, common anymore. No. no. I mean, the closest thing they had is, well, the whole story <laughs> behind this thing, when I was talking to the guy, apparently some UNH student had done a dissertation and they had run, you know, 10,000 million copies of them and then ran out. And I asked, well, are you going to run it again? And it was much more detailed and much more specific. Uh than this. than this, but guess what? They're not going to. In fact, he didn't even know he had an empty box. Oh. So, well, here on the back, it, oh, the blue part, you're talking about this blue part, yeah, <coughs> yeah, all the blue, I mean, the, all the blue inside, stuff, the blue highlights, and everything, yeah, yeah. But the back is so, different. what I was thinking about is get off my butt. I mean, this would be something that we could put in the kiosk, not necessarily, you know, the front part. But this is about conservation right, to responsible yeah, right. viewing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily, but even though they've got, uh, you know, they've got a map for the whole state, and maybe, you know. Well, they get to the North Country. Well, that's just the North Country. North Country. Pittsburgh. But they get this, like the they get this to the moose. Of course, moves. if mm -hmm. you want to post it, mm -hmm. what you have to do is you post one this way. Well, and then what you turn would, it. but it's so small. But what would be really good for a senior project or a sophomore project, if anyone's listening mm -hmm. out there, is to take the information on conservation through responsible viewing and make a better looking, better sized poster for our kiosk. Mm -hmm. Okay, be wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, I happen to have, courtesy of the fish and game, a few of these. Yeah, right. So mm -hmm. well, put, put some out. Don't put them all. But yeah, put, some put a couple out on the table. table. Yeah. No. Okay, but I'd still like to. Put them in the, I think it yeah. would be valuable. Put them in the kiosk. So when you get the locks, when you get the locks, then they'll put them in. And then in. do that yeah. one. Well, okay. yeah. Now, in addition to that, because I they were so generous. Um, you need, uh, are you, you going to do um, Parker Park kiosk as well? Sure. That one needs, you'll have to go down there and take a look at it. Okay. Um, the posters are they have this little card that shows who's you know, yes. animal tracks and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought that would be good up there too, you know, to put in there for yeah. people. Yeah. Because I was up at Discovery uh, Why um, Discovery the April 20th. New Hampshire Wildlife or whatever it was called. And a lot of people showed interest in you know there's bro there's these brochures that are and here's our favorite one that I knew everybody would be overexcited about. Restoration of the That's New England I, Cottontail. I meant to give you at cleanup day, the New England Cottontail. Oh, oh, yeah. So, and I don't know if I got that. Oh, yeah, I got a bunch of those. So maybe that's something also we could post up in there. But um, And I can leave a few of them out there. And you could be in charge of changing every few months. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Once you get the locks. <laughs> Once I get the locks in the bowl cutter. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, I agree with you, Joan. Maybe we could get... Some be some 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 nice artistic young person from yeah. the high yeah. school as a some project senior or phenomenal. junior in the yeah. high school. I know put, the sophomores and and uh, because I when I showed the the, the the public uh, service guy up there this thing fishing game fishing game guy yeah uh, he was impressed with this too well, good. and I thought and I gave him a copy and I thought he might incorporate it silly me you know in something like this. When you publish a new one out, mm -hmm. but I forget we're dealing with the state. That's the one that Matt gave me. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to find out if there was more information on that or not. There's, uh, I can probably get that off a website on the bottom there. So yeah, there's yeah, Google something. Me is that something yeah. Matt made? 
No, it's no, something he picked up off the website. Yeah. Oh, long distance. Do we have push pins, or yeah. should I purchase push, push pins? Up can you afford them? Yeah. Pardon? Can you afford some? You can even get them at the supermarket. No, inflation probably come, is. Uh, probably come down to town hall and see if they have any in the selectman's office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and just take them off their wall. And just take them off the bulletin board. Off the bulletin board, yeah. <laughs> so, it's not locked anymore. The budget's tight. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so that's that. Did you, so you went to the April 20th uh, fishing game, wild, wild, whatever it was. Oh, there. yes. Yes. That was, it was interesting. In, was there a decent crowd? Because it was rainy. It, there was a good crowd there, which surprised me. Okay, the the, the talk was they brought the helicopter in, but they had to pull it out because they had uh, severe storm warnings, so I had to pull it out. And in my particular booth, my fearless leader, I said to him, "It's going to rain in a half an hour." No, I think it's going to rain in a half an hour. No, you're kidding. I said, "Look at the sky; it's going to rain in a half an hour." Twenty minutes later. It just downpour, but that didn't slow the people down. I, not as much as last year, but uh, there still was a, a lot of uh, participation. Good. You know? That's good. So that was a good thing. Yeah. So how are we doing on the dog do then? Did we ever come to? Um, so I went down there and I didn't see any. I didn't see any issues at Morris Falls, but we do need signs. Yeah. So continue. And, and um, like I said, maybe I can get a dog sign right away into the kiosk. And, and we should, if we are putting one, we also should put one in pocket pack because you get the people running the dogs on there. Anyway, I'm not about right now, but a few years back, I remember there was well, now they, large numbers of dogs. Because they were running right into Wilson's Fields, so right. we can't do that anymore. Right. Wilson's posted everything. Yeah. So, um, the next one was the Bluebird Boxes. Um, um, Roger and I pulled out quite a few of them at the... Um, River Landing, because a couple of reasons. They are too close together, number one. Number two, the Recreation Commission wants to mow, only have to mow once a year there, and they need to be moved over a little bit. Were there any bluebirds that even came to those? There's boxes? house sparrows in the first one, unfortunately. Um, Did you put them somewhere else? or just? Well, then I got permission to put them at the cemeteries, which there'll be no disturbance. Mm. <laughs> so. Can, the edge of the cemeteries. Can can we actually put them on a tree rather than yeah, put them on a post? Yeah, yeah, we can. And they should be like at least seven, eight feet high. Um, I have to look again. Now, our neighbor was saying that he has them. He he has them right next to my house. And what he does, he has he found some kind of like a little toy. It's round, and he put that over the hole. And that that seems to be like the thing that's very conducive to the bluebirds. They actually find a place to. Not a, not a perch, but it just it's a round thing that they can actually sit on before they go in. And subsequently, he seems to get an awful lot of them right next to the house. The mm -hmm. only question I have about the tree is what about predators on the Well, I, ha I have some um, sheet metal that we could put around the tree, so that, that would be, you know. I was thinking either, like squirrels that's, that's, and yeah. stuff. Well, I, th I thought, thought about too because, man, mm -hmm. they can chew a hole in them really fast. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, yes. My, yeah. Yes, my I warm, put two yeah. of them up in my backyard and within – Three months, yeah. there's extra ventilation. So if I put them back up on the post, there's no way they're coming up on that post. Yeah. Uh, yeah maybe Probably I should be just, on yeah. the post. Mm -hmm. So we can put them at the sometimes. If you want some help, give me a call. And um, I was thinking around the edges, you know, space maybe two on each side. Yeah. And then also the, um, who's in charge of the cemetery behind the church? The church, I think. Yeah. The church, yeah. I believe. Because, um, Jody told me we could do Hillcrest and Pinecrest, and she said that there's also the, the church, but I don't think that they're in charge of that. I think the church is. Yeah. So. Well, she's in charge of Pinecrest, right? Yeah, and Warren, I think, it does Hillcrest. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And Stephen does yeah. something. So that's the situation. But the, in that first box, there was a house sparrow, and then we were going to number them, too, so we can keep track of What's happening so they won't get box. confused. They'll know which numbers on the house, so they'll know where to go. <laughs> it won't be like I shouldn't say the senior housing at all. It's the same. <laughs> uh, I get myself in trouble so easily. Okay, um, uh, Matt asked to table the conservation rules because uh, he was wasn't here tonight, so we'll table that. I haven't really taken a good look at him yet, anyway. 
Um, I did want to tell you that we are a member of. What did I do the last time? New Hampshire Association of Conservation. New Hampshire Association of Natural Resource Scientists. We're a member, and we they occasionally have pretty good seminars. What was that again? New Hampshire Association of Natural Resource Scientists. Nanners, N H A. Oh yeah, is that what you're I know Nanners. Oh, you know. Nanners, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we're a member, and if um, oh here's here it is. Yeah. Um, the spring quarterly meeting is May 16th, and it's about Stonewall Initiative. Mm -hmm. They're going to try and map all the stone walls in New Hampshire. Like that. Really? So then that's May 16th. So if anybody's interested, my fingers get really sore whenever I hear about that because I've broken every finger in my <laughs> hands tough. building rock walls. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to use LIDAR, L-I-D-A-R, you know what that is? LIDAR. LIDAR. Yeah, I use that for work a lot. Revol yes. Revolutionize geological yep. mapping and digital terrain analysis. Yep. Where, where is it's that? They, they could fly airplanes and they shoot. Um, it's like, a like laser photography. Yeah, but it's laser beams that oh. bounce down and hits the, the vegetation in the ground and then Troops back up, and the specialized camera captures no, the. So the stone when it hits a stone wall, it hits a stone area. wall, and then anything it kind of makes a you know nice map of uh, the oh, terrain. But um, that's if the stone walls kind of explodes. What happens if it's in? Well, it's laser go right it, through it, the vegetation. Well, no, it doesn't go through the vegetation. It finds the gaps. So there's like um, uh, density of of lasers. So there could be like a thousand points in a square meter. Of lasers hitting per square meter or whatever they decide mm -hmm. so some of them get through all the way down to the ground and then they bounce back yeah, up because yeah. we own some property up on warner that's off in the and it's pretty dense yeah well that's how they found all the um aztec uh features i don't know if yeah. you guys have yeah. seen that that they flew a bunch of lidar in the jungles and it goes right through all those dense yeah. jungles and finds all the stuff you make it through the jungle and make it through yeah the is that how they did the one the egypt to the pyramids that was just on recently on channel two i think the inside of them maybe yeah yeah i think so yep yep something similar you can do indoor lidar as well yeah so they have um, they have quarterly seminars on different topics, and um, I've been to a few, and they're pretty good because it's all natural resource scientists. So it's you know everybody's got the same interests. Um, there's also a Vernal Pool Walk May fourth in Merrimack from nine to eleven at the Merrimack Middle School. If anybody's interested, I'll send you the directions and. Um, that would be pretty good to go to if anybody's available. Saturday, May 4th. A.M. or P.M.? A.M., 9 to 11. I thought they were going to go out and listen to the peepers at the same time. Oh, do it at night. It's in Merrimack? Yeah. 31 Madeline Bennett Lane is the Merrimack Middle School. It's Greater Woods is the, um, is the place, but they, they gave 31 Madeline Bennett Lane as the address. We did cleanup day. Thank you, everybody. We did 14 bags, and I believe the state did pick, pick it up this time. And we're supposed to do it four times a year. So we'll try and get Guess we got one. one. <laughs> got one. Still early in the year. So, Three more to go. Yeah. <laughs> and how about a rainfall report? Oh, this ought to. <laughs> Let's see how much. Can't wait for this one. <laughs> Uh, according to my tally, we had 11.8 inches of rain. During the month of April? For the month of April. Is that all? <laughs> and we had a trace of, uh, of snow, uh, nothing really measurable, a couple of days. Um, I got to tell you, I, I was really shocked. On the 18th, 15th, we had 1.2 inches. The 16th, we had 1.1 inch. The 21st, we had 1.1. The 23rd, we had 2.7. And then the bingo day was 20. On the 27th, we had 3.0 inches in one day. I, I couldn't believe my grain gauge. Wow. For a total of 11.8 inches. Yeah. That's a lot of water. Yeah. <laughs> now, what about the point there upon? What does that look like now with all this rain? Really yeah, I haven't been over there either. Yeah, That's yeah. a good question. Just, uh, there. Yeah. just curious to what kind of. Did you guys experience, I don't know if it was mid. April, 
that it's supposed it started sleeting. Yeah. In the morning. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I was looking out and I'm saying, huh? <laughs> it was actually sleeting and then it finally changed over to rain. No, we had thunder one night. Yeah, right. <laughs> All the thunderstorm that came in. And that was another beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's the grant workshop. Okay. Um, I tried to keep up on these minutes, and I did gather up January. I guess I was the one who was doing January. So here are the January minutes to approve. I'm trying to keep month by month so we don't fall behind. They didn't go to that one? Um, January? I didn't either. Member's absent. You didn't say you're absent. <laughs> you didn't say you're there either. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I believe I was here. I don't remember if I did or not. I believe I was here. I, I know I missed uh, yeah, last month. I missed month. last month, yeah. All right, so we'll add you for a present. <laughs> with a question mark. <laughs> well, okay. Jeff, yeah, that, this is one I went out with him and looked at it. Okay, which one are you talking about? Daniel. Yeah, I was there too. You were there too? Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah, because otherwise I didn't have enough members. It must have been cut and pasted something wrong here. <laughs> yeah, and I remember we talked about the underground gas yeah. tanks. What is the status on that? Really I'm hard to find. Is there nothing on the finding board or anything? Nope. No. <laughs> We'd have to go to the ZBA next. That's right. Do they advertise when they do anything? ZBA? They must have to still post it, right? Oh, yeah. That's unless you're on the news. Just a quick uh, question. Now, does this um, thing for the uh, gas station, is that going to come back through us again? Yes. It, for the Act for District, it'll come back. And then they have to go to the Zoning Board of Adjustment. And I haven't seen any activity on it at all. So. Well, I mean, I was driving by there, and I saw him and somebody looked like they were making some sort of plans or something or other, just sitting out there, you know. I mean, no no construction or anything. No, no, no. there wouldn't be any construction. No, there wouldn't be any yeah. construction. No, the zoning board, the planning mm -hmm. board. <clears throat> Okay. What do you need? Uh, yeah, other than adding Roger and I, I think. Yep, add you. You need a motion to accept it? Is everybody ready for a motion? Yep. Okay, yeah, yeah. motion. I make a motion. We accept uh, January 3rd. As amended? Yeah, with the correction. corrections. Okay. Second. All those in favor of accepting January 3rd minutes, say aye. 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 All in favor? All righty. And uh, let's fix that. Then April 4th. April 4th of February. Date. Well, we did February. It's February, it says, February yeah. and March is, we're all set. Well, when I'm looking at it, it said January. Yeah, yeah, yeah we hadn't gotten to January. I, just found January. I was just, lost. I just it's off the cyberspace. This is April. Sure. Why not? April? Yeah. The only change I had was um, the one, two, three, fourth paragraph. It should be Jean, G E N E, Porter. And I guess I should spell out Lower Mac River Mac River Local <laughs> Advisory Commission or Committee. And then um, the next sentence, LCC will contact the New Hampshire State House, should State House our representatives so we're gonna contact. Do 
Did you just check your shot? I am. Was, you weren't here, you would have got it. He's going to purposely missed it. And he's doing a fine, fine job. That's right. Okay, ready to approve April 4th as amended? Sure. Second. <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Abstain. Aye. And right. I wasn't here. Yeah, you don't have to abstain, but you're going to. So it's one, two, yeah. three, four, zero, one. Approved. Okay. And then, um, Andrew, I'll give you the. Let's see, LCC 2019 You could make the file be that name, no spaces. Sure. That would be great. Got a, uh, now that you got a promotion, you got to raise with us. <laughs> get a raise. <laughs> it's a lot of money involved. Yeah. <laughs> and a double salary. <laughs> oh, and I just I want to show you um, here is our old tax maps, which I would, I would color up the town property, but then I ended up doing it for everybody. It's got to be a little time consuming. So what I did is I asked NRPC this year when they print them to oh, yeah. color the town property, save me lots, yeah. lots of time and looks a lot more professional. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wow. So just the town property, they didn't do the state. So next year I'll ask them to do a different color for the state property. I yes. want to push it this year. Yeah, that's good. So that's Who does these for us? Uh, National Regional Planning Commission. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's the new ones. Are we printing the new ones? Do those folks ever have they ever run off copies of topo maps? Do you know? Um, no, they don't do topo maps. That would be a lot of data collection on their part. Fish um, and game, I think, are the only people that do topo. And the USGS maps, yeah. the topo, yeah. the, the big. You know, the and they only do the reproductions. Like, I, I know where to get the maps, though, but making. And they only they only update them like every thirty years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but they've flown lidar for most of the state, and yeah. I think the topo are. I would think today it would be so much easier with all these satellites. Yeah, right? and yeah. satellites too. Yep. So, does anybody have anything else? I was. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I was thinking uh, the other day that, you know, how we always have people calling to uh, looking for senior class projects and whatever. Right. The uh, the benches that somebody built so, several years ago for on, on Albuquerque, they're looking a little shabby. They could be either painted or upgraded or something or other because they're looking kind of dark and dismal. Okay. Just a thought. Yeah. This oh, brochure that you were talking about, Joan, would be a good scene. Yeah. That That's what considered? I yeah, I mentioned. That's what mentioned um, before. Mm -hmm. To to rework the um to, or to make into a poster conservation through responsible viewing. That's a good title, but mm -hmm. they could, you know the information's there, just make it into a nice poster. Just put, yeah. That would be a good uh, yeah. nice uh, slightly larger print. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, Litchfield Town Forest, are we having the same that's a uh, State New Hampshire forest. State Forest. Not the town forest. There's no town forest. It's the state forest. It isn't, is it the state? It's state, the state forest. forest. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never been a town forest. How come it's always late? Well, the maps that I've seen said it's Litchfield. State Forest. State Forest. Litchfield State Litchfield Forest. State Forest. We actually wanted to put a prison in there. That's right. That was, the state, that was the future name of the future. Uh, the site of the future state prison. Yeah. At, wow. At one time. Well, at least that's the rumor that we probably no, it did. It wasn't a rumor. It was true. It was true. That they was, it was one of their on their list. They were, yeah, I think it was on the list. So we just used to suggest that if they did, did build it, anyone lived there, you know, five and a foot radius, leave, buy an extra car, leave a set of keys in it. So, they <laughs> so what was your question about the state park? <laughs> Town for it. Yeah. State well, if, it, if it's a state, it's a state. state for us, then there is no question. I'm not okay. going to worry about it. Good. So um, we're so. having the same kinds of like doggy problems over there. Or? I haven't been out there in a while. I don't think so. I, I, I haven't either, but uh, I used to walk it all the time, and I've never really seen a problem there, out there. Most, most of the people they let their lot of dogs go and they go out into the woods, so you know it's not. No, well, it's I know that hit that area is hunted quite heavily, you know. So nice trails through there or you can go right up and in, in through the uh london dairy trails yeah. it's, it's really a nice walk it's a great great snowmobiling trail years ago except for i've made a nice trail ticks. map for it too yeah. all the ticks up there yeah yeah i matter of fact i found does anybody know where colonial drive yeah mm -hmm. colonial is it called colonial yeah. drive in this is in london dairy oh yeah yeah, I, yeah. I, right before it's off wiley hill 
Yes. Yeah. And you, you go, go all, the all the way, way to the end of the that. End and you hit musquash. Mm -hmm. Now, is there a trailhead there? Yes. Okay. Well, I, that's a long road. Let me rephrase it differently. There is a sign that looks like it's a state sign that says musquash. Okay. Because that's a really, really long cul-de-sac, Colonial Drive. Yeah, and you have to go in between two houses, I think, to get on. No, there. I don't think but so. But when you're out on the trail, you can see houses, and I mm -hmm. yeah. finally figured out that it was. Yeah, but I accidentally found it. I was kind of surprised. It's much easier to go in off Tanger. Yeah. Or or go through uh, State, State down on Albuquerque and go through this. It's a longer walk, but I mean, when 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 you when when you uh, just before you hit the power lines, there's there's two sets of trails. One heads towards there, and the other one heads. It kind of snakes around and goes really nice trails out there. In Londonderry. In Londonderry, yeah. yeah. There's a map at the, there's a map so, at Tanger. Well, I guess the question is, if I go around and do all the uh, kiosks, should I do that one? No. That's no. not ours. Not ours. ours. I mean, oh. I'd be upset if they change the law. <laughs> <laughs> they just have a, Well, they who have maintains a, that then, the state? No, um, Londonary Londonary Trailways. They have a trail committee over there. And, and they would maintain that Most kiosk? Most likely, yeah. It's There's a the kiosk at Tanager that they made. They, and they, they have beautiful signs out there. I mean, you can't really even get lost. Yeah. I probably could. <laughs> so they maintain the kiosk at over in Litchfield, right? No, no, London. Londonary. No, no, I'm talking about the exactly. kiosk that is in Litchfield. off of Albuquerque. Must be the state. Oh, the one at the oh, state right, farm. Right, right, yeah. right, right on three at the corner. Yeah, that's, that's the, the state. state takes yeah. care of that. Because yeah. okay. they had put up signs when they were doing tree harvesting. Yeah. There. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just thought I'd ask. Make a motion to adjourn. Um, I'll second. Make sure. Got everything done? I got everything? Can you fall through? Next meeting is June 6th, 2019. And you second it? Yeah. I second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Meeting is adjourned at 7.55. Good job.